Oh, Aurora throwing the crisis and catches Wraith out. <laughs> Wukong jumped in just in time to get frozen, and they're both displaced under the tower. Casting replay submitted by viewers like you. This is Casting Call. What's up, everybody? I am Mongoose. You are awesome, and this is Casting Call, the series where I cast replays submitted by viewers like you. Today's replay is from Talos of Teal, playing Grim in the mid lane. I've seen a lot of Grim in the mid lane lately. Let's see if it works out for Talos and Teal. He's always oh, up against a gadget. That should be good because that deflector shield is very easy to use to prevent the uh, gadget mine explosion. So let's get into the gameplay. Grim has picked up the Black Marble of Death, and he's going to try it. Whoa, Gadget going right into him, but he's able to block that mine with the deflection shield. He, op he activates the suppression mode. He's able to burn her down very easily. <laughs> Black buff and suppression mode, man. That is a scary combo. Aurora in this offlane role has been giving Wu Kong and uh, Wraith the business here. She's going to continue to do so, laying down the criticism. Is it going to be enough to take down Wu Kong? It is not enough. It did spread and freeze uh, Wraith. Wukong's going to knock her away with the Staff of Legend. He's not going to get away. She's moving in for the kill. He's... Here Kalari comes in and secures the kill on Wukong. Nice kill secure there, but she Kalari does hang around long enough to push Wraith away from Aurora. Grim picks up the purple buff, and he's rotating in to help Aurora out like any mid laner would do. It's just, it's just weird seeing a Grim mid lane, though. I mean... It does work, however. Oh, Aurora throwing the criticism catches Wraith out. <laughs> Wukong jumped in just in time to get frozen, and they're both displaced under the tower. Taking significant damage, Grim finishes off a double kill with a GTFO. I want to get a better angle on that. So watch this shit. The Wukong would have been perfectly safe, but he dives in just to get frozen, and the, that, that displacement blast was on point. That was really well done. A team also using Aurora in the off lane. She just caught Murdoch with a Cryocism and the Horfrost combo, but Narbash might save his life. He is, uh, and Gadget's throwing down a uh, Thunderdome. Murdoch gets caught by the Hooker Frost, and they spread the love straight on over to Narbash and take him down too. Red team pouring the aggression onto the blue team's off lane, but Kalari was over there to help out Aurora. Aurora able to easily take down Gadget. Gadget got the Thunderdome down, but wasn't quite enough. Oh, that Chrysism just caught Wukong at the very edge. He is frozen and immediately shattered by Kalari and Aurora. Red team once again aggressively pushing this off lane. It is still standing though. Chrysism goes out, she gets pushed away. The damage has been done though, and Kalari is there to reap the benefits. Picks up the kill on Wukong. Gonna take out Wraith as well, it looks like. Got a mine on her head, will she survive? No, she gets blown up midair. However, Grim came to assist. Gadget gets caught in the Hooker Frost and taken down by Aurora and Grim.exe. Teamwork, making that dream work. Gadget rotating to the assistance of Aurora. Aurora is gonna dive into the middle, land a huge cryocism. I wonder if Gadget has her ult. She does! Welcome to the Thunderdome, bitches! She takes out both Murdoch and Narbash. Aurora and Narbash moving in as the blue team is pressuring the shit out of the red team. Another cryocism from Aurora! God, she is just making him pay! And catches Wukong as he tries to back up through the Hooker Frost. And now, the Thunk hit Wraith right in his forehead. He's gonna... Wow, he's got some jukes, man. He's getting away, but nope, he, he's caught the attention of Grim.exe, GTFO, to the face. Countess is going to come in and try and defend this inhibitor, it looks like. She's going to do whatever she can. Suppression mode activated. She takes a couple shots to sides. <laughs> That's not such a great idea. Grim just kicking back. He's going to launch the GTFO right after a Kalari ultimate. Takes down Countess. He's just... Uh, you know what, I'll just get back to taking this inhibitor now. You just totally kick back, just get kills as they present themselves. Blue team looking to seal the deal in this game by picking up War Prime. Nice um, block of the missile. I didn't know you could do that with Grim. I mean, it makes perfect sense, but I don't think I've just ever seen it done before. Aurora completely misses the cryocism. Narbash takes the Prime with the crash bang boom, and they pick up almost simultaneous kill on Aurora and Countess. Looks like this is the end for the red team. <laughs> Grim with a cheeky GTFO. 
to Aurora to end the match. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. 9-0 and 6 from Tal Talis and Teal. Another flawless victory. Very cool. Before we get to the final segments of the episode, Talis and Teal, enjoy your kill -tage. Game analysis, why do I think that the blue team won and the red team lost? Composition, this one came down to uh, composition. Blue team had that uh, Narbash, and Grim, who actually does pretty well in the mid lane, was up against Gadget, who he does extremely well against. And they were able to pull ahead and keep pushing forward, snowball that, that, that victory, and come away with the win. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit that like button with a GTFO. Click on the little mongoose that will be appearing at the bottom right hand side of your screen to subscribe. If you want to join me in Discord, that is linked in the video description below. If you want to find out how to submit your own replays for casting, that is also in the video description below, as well as my Patreon if you want to become a patron like Taos and Teal is. For now, this is Mongoose signing off. You guys have a good one. Mangoo!